Okay, first of all, the idea of what would happen if you could meet yourself, you know? And then taking that idea and putting it in a very sort of crazy, hormonically charged, uh, hedonistic environment where you're getting this opportunity, but there's no time to really do much about it. And the other, your other self is claiming the same things that you are. Mm -hmm. So there's no time to sit intellectually and talk and have a coffee with yourself and, right. and sort of digest, but you have to make some very painful decisions because you're running out of time. And the other inspiration was, uh, you know, in my love life very often, I fucked up big time. And it was like, please give me back those 20 minutes so I can not fuck up again. So it's also a film about second chances. It's, you know, it's thinking, first of all, I want the audience to, to think what would happen if, if they would get that chance, but they wouldn't have the, the latitude to, like, you know, process it intellectually, but would just have to deal with it at that moment. And, uh, you know, in this movie, you see how very different characters react to this. And I think that tells a lot about human nature. And, and I really love the audience to play with that idea and think themselves, you know, what would they do in that case? Would you say it's more of a supernatural movie or a party movie? It's, uh, I don't know. I mean, some people have been saying it's Project X meets Kubrick. I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a sexy, trashy, brainy sci-fi party movie, mm -hmm. party thriller, yeah, it's, it's, it's a genre bender, it combines a lot of things. Biggest challenge was it's, that it's a very technical film, I mean there's a lot of VFX, thank god we, have Lo we had Lola and Hydraulics doing the effects, they've done uh, Benjamin Button and uh, face replacements in uh, Social Network, so there was a lot of VFX, so it was a very technical shoot, and at the same time it was a party, so we had to keep this crazy energy. Mm -hmm. So combining, you know, keeping that crazy energy and being very technically accurate was really, really hard. The cast was amazing. They went through a lot. They had to play different versions of themselves, which as the movie evolves, become very different in that very short time span. I think it was fun, but it was very, it was very demanding. And we shot all nights, so by the end, we're all going crazy. Well, you know, I like to rehearse a lot, so we got 10 days of rehearsal, and we sort of played with the idea of what can change in 20 minutes, and, uh, you know, like had improvisations where you're with yourself and doing very stupid things, and, mm. and, uh, and then, uh, you know, the movie has fun with revisiting things from a slightly different perspective, so it was interesting. Sometimes you're not sure which version the character is, and you realize it gradually. So that was great fun both to film, but also for the actors to, you know, to play all those nuances. Right. It, it was a happy surprise. And for example, Ashley Hinshaw, she, she explores her sweet and toxic side to such extremes. I think she's, she's, she's covered the whole rainbow.